June 21st Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible 1 Chronicles chapter 7 and 8 from the Old Testament The sons of Issachar Tola, Pua, Jeshub, and Shimron Four in all The sons of Tola Azai, Rephaia, Jeriel, Jemai, Jibsam, and Samuel. They were leaders of their families. In the time of David, there were 22,600 warriors listed in Tola's genealogical records. The son of Azai, Israchia. The sons of Israhiah, Michael, Obadiah, Joel, and Ishiah. All five were leaders. According to the genealogical records of their families, they had 36,000 warriors available for battle, for they had numerous wives and sons. Altogether, the genealogical records of the clans of Issachar listed 87,000 warriors. The sons of Benjamin, Bela, Beker, and Jedi Ael, three in all. The sons of Bela, Esbon, Uzai, Uziel, Jerimoth, and Irai. The five of them were leaders of their families. There were 22,034 warriors listed in their genealogical records. The sons of Beker, Zemira, Joash, Eliezer, Elioenai, Omri, Jeremoth, Abijah, Anathoth, and Alameth. All these were the sons of Beker. There were 20,200 family leaders and warriors listed in their genealogical records. The son of Jedi Ael, Bilhan. The sons of Bilhan, Jeush, Benjamin, Ehud, Cana Anna, Zethan, Tarshish, and Ashishahar. All these were the sons of Jedi Ael. Listed in their genealogical records were 17,200 leaders and warriors who were capable of marching out to battle. The Shepites and Huppites were descendants of Ur. The Hushites were descendants of Aher. The sons of Naphtali, Jaziel, Gionai, Jezer, and Shalom, sons of Bilha. The sons of Manasseh, Asriel, who was born to Manasseh's Aramean concubine. She also gave birth to Maker, the father of Gilead. Now Maker married a wife from the Huppites and Shepites. His sister's name was Maacah. Zelophehad was Manasseh's second son. He had only daughters. Maacah, Maker's wife, gave birth to a son whom she named Piresh. His brother was Sheresh and his sons were Ulam and Rechem, the son of Ulam, Bedan. These were the sons of Gilead, son of Maker, son of Manasseh. His sister, Homoliketh, gave birth to Ishhad, Abiezer, and Mala. The sons of Shemida were Ahian, Shechem, Lichai, and Anayim, the descendants of Ephraim. Shuthala, his son Bered, his son Tehath, his son Eliada, his son Tehath, his son Zabad, his son Shuthala. Ezer and Eliad were killed by the men of Gath, who were natives of the land, when they went down to steal their cattle. Their father Ephraim mourned for them many days and his brothers came to console him. He had sexual relations with his wife. She became pregnant and gave birth to a son. Ephraim named him Beriah because tragedy had come to his family. His daughter was Shira, who built Lower and Upper Beth Haran, as well as Uzan, Shira. His son Repha, his son Reshef, his son Tila, his son Tehan, his son Ladan, his son Amihad, his son Elishema, his son Nun, and his son Joshua. 
Their property and settlements included Bethel and its surrounding towns, Nea Aaron to the east, Gezer and its surrounding towns to the west, and Shechem and its surrounding towns as far as Aya and its surrounding towns. On the border of Manasseh's territory were Beth Shean and its surrounding towns, Teanak and its surrounding towns, Megiddo and its surrounding towns, and Dor and its surrounding towns. The descendants of Joseph, Israel's son, lived there. The sons of Asher, Imna, Ishva, Ishvai, and Beriah. Sira was their sister. The sons of Beriah, Heber and Malkiel, who was the father of Birzaeth. Heber was the father of Japhlet, Shomer, and Hotham, and Shua their sister. The sons of Japhlet, Pesach, Bimhal, and Ashvath. These were Japhlet's sons. The sons of his brother Shemer, Roga, Hubba, and Aram. The sons of his brother Helam, Zophah, Imna, Shelash, and Amal. The sons of Zophah, Sua, Harnifer, Shuel, Birai, Imra, Bezer, Hod, Shama, Shilsha, Ithran, and Bera. The sons of Jether, Jephaniah, Pispa, and Era. The sons of Allah, Era, Haniel, and Reziah. All these were the descendants of Asher. They were the leaders of their families, the most capable men who were warriors and served as head chiefs. There were 26,000 warriors listed in their genealogical records as capable of doing battle. Benjamin was the father of Bela, his firstborn. Ashbel was born second, Ahara third, Noha fourth, and Rapha fifth. Bela's sons were Adder, Gira, Abihud, Abishua, Naaman, Ahoa, Gira, Shifufan, and Huram. These were the descendants of Ehud, who were leaders of the families living in Geba, who were forced to move to Manahath, Naaman, Ahijah, and Gira, who moved them. Gira was the father of Uzzah and Ahihud. Shearaim fathered sons in Moab after he divorced his wives Husham and Beorah. By his wife Hodesh he fathered Jobab, Zibiah, Misha, Malcolm, Jeaz, Sakiah, and Mirmah. These were his sons. They were family leaders. By Husham he fathered Abitub and Elpale. The sons of Elpale, Eber, Misham, Shemed, who built Ono and Lod, as well as its surrounding towns, Beriah and Shema. They were leaders of the families living in Ajalon and chased out the inhabitants of Gath. Ahio, Shashak, Jeremoth, Zebediah, Arad, Eder, Michael, Ishpa, and Joha were the sons of Beriah. Zebediah, Meshalem, Hizkai, Heber, Ishmirai, Isliah, and Jobab were the sons of Elpal. Jacob, Zikri, Zabdi, Elienai, Zilathe, Eliel, Adeha, Birea, and Shimrath were the sons of Shimei. Ishpan, Eber, Eliel, Abdon, Zikri, Hanan, Hananiah, Elam, Anthothijah, Iphidia, and Penuel were the sons of Shashak. Shamshirai, Shechariah, Athaliah, Jereashiah, Elijah, and Zikri were the sons of Giroam. 
These were the family leaders listed in the genealogical records. They lived in Jerusalem. The father of Gibeon lived in Gibeon. His wife's name was Maacah. Her firstborn son was Abdon, followed by Zer, Kish, Baal, Nadab, Gedor, Ahio, Zeker, and Mikloth. Mikloth was the father of Shimea. They also lived near their relatives in Jerusalem. Ner was the father of Kish, and Kish was the father of Saul. Saul was the father of Jonathan, Malchishua, Abinadab, and Eshbaal. The son of Jonathan, Merabael. Merabael was the father of Micah, the sons of Micah, Python, Melech, Tyria, and Ahaz. Ahaz was the father of Jehoiada, and Jehoiada was the father of Alameth, Asmaveth, and Zimri. Zimri was the father of Moza, and Moza was the father of Binia. His son was Repha, whose son was Eliesa, whose son was Azel. Azel had six sons, Azrikam, his firstborn, followed by Ishmael, Shiriah, Obadiah, and Hanan. All these were the sons of Azel. The sons of his brother Eshek, Ulam was his firstborn, Geish second, and Eliphalet third. The sons of Ulam were warriors who were adept archers. They had many sons and grandsons, a total of a hundred and fifty. All these were the descendants of Benjamin. God, all of these uh, chapters we've been reading, specifically in First Chronicles, detail the history of where we came from. I know at that time, obviously, it was a little bit more current history, um, but it is just an amazing reminder of your promise for your people, that all of these people were, were your chosen people. And as they submitted and got sidetracked by idols, no matter what those look like, but away from you, uh, then there were consequences to pay. But your promise to them that there would be uh, a royal king that came out of the Davidic line, um, that gift, that incredible gift, and that promise from you completely holds true. So even though reading these genealogy reports is probably one of, for most people, not everybody, but for most people is, is kind of boring, or in my case, hard. <laughs> it is just this amazing reminder and very powerful reminder of where we have come from and remembering what our inheritance is from you. That out of this chosen group of people, there came a remnant. And out of that remnant came Jesus Christ. You descended to heaven, took the form of a man, and were crucified on the cross, took on the sins of the entire world, past, current, future, for the forgiveness of our sins. And so that we could be released from our prison and have freedom in you and the incredible gift of eternal life. God, there may be people listening right now who, who don't have that gift yet. I know you open up your hands to them with that gift there, but I also know that we have to respond to that gift. And wherever they're at in that process, whether it's they still have questions um, or they're ready to accept that gift or maybe they've recently accepted that gift and are in that really excited but kind of I'm not sure what's going on phase. God, I just pray that you put people in their lives to help teach them what those different pieces are. That if they have questions, that the people you send into their life will answer with grace-filled answers. That if they're ready to accept that incredibly grace-filled, mercy-filled, absolutely awesome gift that you have for us of forgiveness, then allow them a space and a time today to come to you and just share their heart with you. 
for those listening who've recently done that. God, I just ask that you surround them with people who can mentor them and disciple them and can show them what this world looks like and how to live within this world, but not become part of it. God, your sovereignty over all of this, this amazing history, this genealogy of all these people that you created and all the way down the line to us and to our futures. God, you reign sovereign over all of that. You control all of that. We turn over to you everything that we're holding on to so that we can lead the lives that you want us to have which is always so much better than what we're trying to hold on to. God, thank you for these powerful list of genealogy, this powerful list of people that we have come from, reminding us that we are your chosen children. In your son's name I pray. Amen.